for three hours. What to do? Hi there, kids! Welcome back to Ictus Kids Church at Home. I am so happy to have you here today, and I know you are so excited with our lesson for today. So without further ado, let's start with a prayer. Okay? Lord Jesus, we praise you for you are good. Your plans for us are good. You will always keep your promises because you are faithful. Help these children know you more, even as we read and study your word. And as a result, may they trust you even more. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now let's continue to learn God's work and let's put into practice what we are learning. We have a song about that. Now let's sing it before we go to our Bible lesson. I am a promise. I am a possibility. I am a promise with a capital P. I am a great big bundle of potential. The capital B. I am a great big bundle of potentiality. And I am learning to hear God's voice, and I am trying to make the right choice. I am a promise to be anything He wants me to be. I can go anywhere. Me to go, I can be anything that he wants me to be. I can climb the high mountains and cross the white sea. I'm a great big promise, you see. I am a promise, I am a possibility. I am a promise with a capital P. I am a great. lesson last week? Adam and Eve disobeyed God. So as a result, they were separated from God because God is a holy God. They were kicked out of God's beautiful garden. Outside the garden, some pests and weeds harmed the plants, making it hard for them to grow their own food. Outside the garden, Adam and Eve would sometimes get hurt and feel sick and sad. Outside the garden, Adam and Eve would sometimes get mad and yell at each other. Outside the garden, Adam and Eve would grow old and die. But God still loved them. God made a promise that one day He will send a Savior who will defeat Satan, sin, and death. Now, what is a promise? A promise is when you tell someone you will do something and you really mean it. Remember, God keeps His promises. Now, moving on to God's story on how He is going to fulfill His promise. Many years after Adam and Eve were driven out of the garden, they had been blessed with many children and grandchildren. One of Adam and Eve's grandchildren is Noah. By that time, so many people are living on earth. In Noah's time, 
the Bible says in Genesis chapter 6, verse 5, that people became very bad, that God was grieved. People made God very sad because all they think of was doing bad. They were becoming more and more sinful. They refused to believe God. These people were born sinners because they were Adam's children. Remember? Now, what are some examples of things that can make God very sad? One is probably being proud and boastful or wanting what other people had, like stealing or bullying and fighting and being cruel and mean and even kill, killing, deceiving or telling a lie, ignoring God's original plan for marriage. Like men took many wives and were not faithful to their families and children being disobedient to their parents. Now let's open our Bibles to the following verses. In Genesis chapter 6, verses 6 to 14. God was sorry that he had ever made them and put them on the earth. He was so filled with regret that he said, I will wipe out these people I have created and also the animals and the birds because I am sorry that I made any of them. But the Lord was pleased with Noah. Wow, I like that. I want God to be pleased with me. Now, who else wants to find favor in the Lord? All right, now let us proceed to verse 9. This is the story of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man, the only blameless man living on earth at that time. He consistently followed God's will and enjoyed a close relationship with him. Noah had three sons named Shem, Ham, and Japheth. But everyone else was evil in God's sight, and violence has, had spread everywhere. God looked at the world and saw that it was evil, for the people were all living evil lives. God said to Noah, I have decided to put an end to all people. I will destroy them completely because the world is full of their violent deeds. Now build a boat for yourself out of good wood. Make rooms in it and cover it with tar inside and out. I am going to send a flood on the earth to destroy every living being. Everything on the earth will die, but I will make a covenant with you. Go into the boat with your wife, your sons, and their wives. Take into the boat with you a male and a female of every kind of animal and of every kind of bird in order to keep them alive. Take along all kinds of food for you and for them. Noah did everything that God commanded. Genesis chapter 6, verses 6 to 22. Now let's review the story through a finger play, okay? This is from a book called Playful Songs and Bible Stories. Please do the action with me, okay? All right. God told Noah to build a big boat. No one believed that it would float. But Noah did what God said. Build it tall, build it wide, build it strong so all can hide. No one believed that it would float. But Noah did what God said. Now let's do it one more time. God told Noah to build a big boat. No one believed that it would float. But Noah did what God said. Build it tall, build it wide, build it strong so all can hide. No one believed that it would float, but Noah did what God said. Is it easy to keep a promise all the time? No miss? Always? It is hard, isn't it? For example, you promised mom to fix your room 
pick up your toys, do your school assignments, and not spend too much time playing with your gadget or watch TV. But then, you forgot. Sometimes, it is hard to keep a promise. But God is not like us. He always keeps His promises. In our, In our Bible story, God was sad about the wickedness of people He created. People did lots of very bad things. Except for Noah. Noah found favor in the Lord. Noah was not sinless, but he wanted to obey God. He was a good man and wanted to make God happy. God was sorry that he had ever made people and put them on the earth. God saw all their sin. They may have hidden lies, stealing, and murder from others, but nothing was hidden from God. Nope. God knows our thoughts and sees everything. We cannot keep a secret sense from God. He saw it all. God always sees everything. God was so filled with regret that he said, I will wipe out these people I have created and also the animals and the birds, because I am sorry that I made any of them. Noah, I am going to send a worldwide flood. Water will cover the whole earth and destroy everything. People on the face of the earth will die because of their sin. But here is God's promise to Noah. But I will keep you and your family safe. God would send a huge flood to punish the people for their sin, but God would keep Noah and his family safe from that punishment. That's a big promise. God was gracious to Noah. God gave Noah a big assignment. God told Noah, build a boat for yourself out of good wood. Make rooms in it and cover it with tar inside and out. Noah obeyed everything God said. He started building the boat and his three sons probably helped too. Now let's pretend we are helping Noah, okay? Let's help him build the boat. Follow me. Now let's cut some trees, okay? Pretend that you're cutting. Let's cut some trees and then Let's saw the wood. Okay, pretend you're sewing. Now, let's hammer the nails. Hammer, hammer, hammer. There you go. Good job, guys. All right. Now, after a very long time, Noah finished building the boat. Here's what it might have looked like. It was so big and tall it's a good thing God said to make the boat big. Do you know why? Because Noah's family, animals, and food supplies had to fit in the ark. No one knew God would keep his family and the animals safe inside the ark. God keeps his promises. Hi kids, let us make something to remind us of our lesson today. All you need is a paper, and a pen. Let's make a paper boat.
kids, when someone keeps a promise, we say he or she is faithful. God always keeps his promises. He is faithful. Our memory verse is from Lamentations chapter 3, verse 23. Let's praise God by saying our verse to Him. Great is your faithfulness. Now, why don't we say it in different ways? Okay, for example, let's say it slowly, okay? All right, here we go. Let's start. Follow me. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 23. Great is your faithfulness. <laughs> All right, very good. Now, why don't we say it mm, in a much faster way, okay? Are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 23. Great is your faithfulness. Now, let's sing this song with Patty. <laughs> Let's stand up and let's close in prayer. God, you are great. You are good. You will always do what you said you would. The Lord keeps his promises and great is your faithfulness. Amen. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.